welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the title today, we're going to be prepping for travel. We are going to be prepping and packing for my family beach trip. This is the first time I've been able to like travel and be on vacation since quarantine. So I'm gonna try to relax. But now let's get into prepping. Okay, so here's what I'm taking. I don't know if you do this, but I like to just set apart my things that I'm gonna wear on the road trip. I'm not gonna actually wear that hat in the car, but I don't wanna get in crushed, so I'm just gonna have it out. Here's a sock, a really old, comfortable <laughs> sports bra, underwear, my sweatpants, a comfy, huge sweater that is easier to wear than to pack, my earrings, oh, obviously my glasses for driving, the Converse. Okay, so other than that, here's what we have. So here's like a cute outfit, like a crop top and like flowy white pants. I have two pairs of jean shorts. Here's some like biker short like things, a black tank top. Here are two of the books that I'm bringing with me. Native by Caitlin B. Curtis and Everything Belongs by Richard Rohr. I'm excited to finish this one and to read this one. Actually, I've read parts of it, but I'm gonna read it all the way through. We have <laughs> more socks than I will need, but I have backups, two fuzzy socks. I have these two hats. So I have the one hat that's like the beachy one and then I have these two hats, it's kind of dirty, but whatever, it's fine, it's the beach. Two nicer shirts. This is two tank tops to wear, like white and one tan. I have one crop top white shirt and then one like sleeveless shirt thing. I don't know what you call that. Anyway, and then I have my t-shirts cause I'm just like a t-shirt wearer of all time. A t-shirt wearer for all the time, but for sleep, but also to lounge around in. There's four of them. Here's tan pair of leggings. Here are white like sweatpants. Over here, here are my like cream overalls. That'll be cute like beachy overalls. And then here's my jean jacket. I have my straw purse back there. Here's like my sports bras and stuff. So just like a strapless, the Calvin Klein one, and then just this bralette and some more underwear. I'm bringing these shoes, my slides. I'm only bringing the two shoes. Oh, well, I'm also bringing my slippers because I can't live without them. <laughs> slippers and then my converse that I already showed you. For bathing suits, I have this one that I got from Walmart, I think, a while ago. So I have two black bottoms. This is high waisted and this is like low rise technically, I guess. I have two one pieces. One is like a cat one and one is just a nice like classy black one. And then with these two black bottoms, I have one, two, three, I have four tops to like pair with it. And then I'll show you some of the things that I'm bringing as far as like toiletries and makeup goes. So I have my sun bum, sunscreen. I have my e.l.f. beauty shield, it's vitamin C serum. I have the doTERRA immortal anti-aging blend. I have an eye cream by e.l.f. I like chose the things that were like easy to travel with. So I have like big serums and big whatever, but like these are just easier to like travel with. So I have this Drunk Elephant. It's another serum, I guess, technically. And then I have this toner by doTERRA and then this anti-aging moisturizer by doTERRA as well. For makeup, sorry, it's a little smudgy, but it's real life. So I have an e.l.f. primer. I have the Wet n Wild foundation and e.l.f concealer, a instant lift brow pencil by e.l.f., two e.l.f. products that are like cream color or cream stick kind of things, makeup, setting spray, another brow product, e.l.f. highlighter and blush, and then my hairbrush. Those are just a few things that I'm bringing. Now I just have to pack it up. I realized I'm missing a couple things and one of them is a rose water spray Which I like to take whenever I'm gonna be outside so I just spray it anytime to cool myself off It's also good for road trips and I need lasagna ingredients because this year with my family We're all taking a night where we prepare a meal which I think is a good idea It takes the load off of my parents. So yeah, we're doing lasagna So I gotta pick up lasagna stuff and salad stuff I'm gonna go to the local grocery store here in Nashville called turnip truck because I know they'll have like all the things that I need I also need to pick up a multivitamin. Yeah, cuz I just ran out of those last night. So let's do it One of the things that we do before we go on trips is we try to empty out our fridge So right now we're out here at the grill, we have, I'll show you. This is full of mini potatoes. This is portobello mushrooms. And this is one corn, that's all we have left. And then inside we have one 
Burger. Burger. Uh -huh. and so, hot dogs? Kind of? No, are we doing hot dogs? No, we don't have to. I think we were on a new pack right now. So yeah. Maybe we're okay. Yeah. So, yeah, this is like one step closer to leaving because we're running out of food, which is great. I think this is the last day you could grill anyway because it's supposed to storm. At least it's good today. Yeah. and getting ready for the beach. I'm leaving on Saturday and I started the video on Wednesday. It was like semi stressing me out because I'm actually a very last minute packer. I think that just comes from like tour life, life on the road. So I almost like didn't know like what else to do. I mean, I have things to do, but I wait till like the last minute to do it typically. But one thing that I am gonna do today, today's the next day by the way, today's Thursday. It's about once a month. I use this little thing from from Amazon and it's like basically this sharp little razor like thing and to get all the peach fuzz off my face. Now look, I'm the last person to tell you to get rid of any kind of hair, body hair, any kind of hair. I personally don't shave many parts of my body at least that often. However, I do like to use this on my face because I feel like, I just like the feel of it. I like the look of it whenever it's all just like perfectly smooth and I like the feel of it being like baby smooth. So I always like when Adam shaves and so <laughs> now I'm just like doing it for myself. Why not? So anyway, um, I guess I'll just show you how I do it. A couple clips. I just like, I have the the little plastic part on still, but I just basically go down like this, like all the way. And I try to not like repeat areas cause it'll like irritate my skin. And then I go this way. I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to do it, honestly. Maybe you're supposed to go that way. I don't know, I'm just telling you how I do it. And so I pull and I go like that. And I do like upper lip and stuff last. Mm, maybe this is TMI, but this is something I'm technically prepping for to go to the beach, so. I take a cotton round some witch hazel, then I wipe my face to get all the excess dirt or hair. I actually might do it one more time. You know those posts where people are like, I do two squats, now I'm like sore, now I deserve like cake? That's me. <laughs> I'm going to the beach and I don't think like two days of doing squats is gonna do much, but at least in my head, It'll do something. Not that the beach needs me to be any more fit than I am right now, but you know, I just want to feel like I'm working towards something, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, gonna do some workouts. Musica. I'm gonna play my playlist that I am currently working on, my June playlist. I'm about to release it. I'll make sure I link it down below. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna play that instead. I was playing Drake, but. Uh, that's not exactly the mood I'm going for. Summer in the Clouds is the name of the playlist that I created. great with meditation. I'm not great at doing it consistently. I enjoy meditation when I do it. I am just not consistent with it. It's just not something that I have made a priority, but I'm trying to. I'm that's it is a priority <laughs> um, for me to try to make a priority if that makes sense. And so I have been using I like to use like guided meditations and I've been using relax melodies. I don't know if you can see that. They have all kinds of things you can like create your own mixes of different sounds and stuff. But I am just going to use a morning meditation and I'm going to do the morning affirmation. I have it to where the soundscapes are wind journey and and whenever it's done, whenever the meditation is done, the music will actually keep playing because I have it on indefinitely. So that's nice if I want to like keep going for a few more minutes. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. Mm. So clearly that 
was a meditation that is, not that it's best done, but it's just kind of made for just waking because it talks about being at the edge of your bed and this meditation has you keeping your eyes open to keep you awake and alert rather than closing your eyes, which is actually, it was actually hard for me to keep my eyes open, which is interesting. I feel like travel and, you know, I'm about to be with my family, all of my family for like a week. And as much as I love them, it's a lot of energy and a lot of memories attached to, to them and to our, within our relationship. And there's just a lot, there's a lot of good and there's a lot of bad that could potentially, things, you know, to be stirred up. I want to go in to my beach trip with my family as calm and as in control over my own mind and emotions as possible and knowing that I am my own responsibility and my I'm only responsible for my actions and my reactions and not anyone else's and some, that's something that meditation helps me do <laughs> helps me just like gra ground myself essentially and remind myself that I am my own responsibility and only my own and yeah so that's it I'll probably be doing meditations the whole time I'm at the beach as well <sighs> Today is Friday. Tomorrow morning, we leave for the beach. So, all right, I'm gonna list off some things basically to remind myself of what I need to do. I need to water the plants, I need to clean out my car. I'm gonna self tan today. I'm gonna shave today. Reverse those in order, but yes. Anyway, I have things to do that are like last day things, like take out the trash and like clean, but yeah. Okay. Let's get into it. I'll show you my tanning stuff if you want. I've literally only done it like twice and I figure I'm about to go to the beach so I might as well do it now. But yeah, I've only done it ever twice so I may not do it correct. We shall see. But you don't need to see me shave. We all know how to shave. I think. Oh, first, normally I would do this completely naked but <laughs> gotta keep this uh, PG, even PG-13. I'm gonna start with the base, show you how I do it. So what I'm using is this Isle of Paradise Focus. I have it in medium, cause that's all they had. It's for face and body. Vegan friendly, cruelty free, and organic. So obviously that's why I liked it, but also I like that you use this with a moisturizer. It says, add to one to 12 drops to your favorite moisturizer, mix together and apply to skin. More drops equals deeper tan. Wash hands and application. Before I like start boiling, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my normal moisturizer, which is the e.l.f. Fully Hydration. I'm going to take out that much. <laughs> I'll put it in my hand, like so. I'm gonna take literally one drop. Watch, watch this, watch this. Can you see it? Nope, but you just see my big face. There we go, one drop. That's all I want for my face. Oh, I'll be looking like a blue book. Put it together. Boop, boop. And obviously, like, I put this everywhere. I normally put moisturizer, but I try to be a little cognizant not to put, like, too much on, like, the upper lip area because, like, I don't want that to be dark. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I just, like, barely, like, once it starts getting a little tacky, I'll, like, put it where places where, I'm, I, you know, I want less. And maybe this isn't the proper way to do it. I go to ears, tiny ears. I mean, honestly, just, like, if you know how to moisturize well, then this will be fine. Okay, so I just like barely went under my eyes like this. However, I'm gonna take a little bit of my eye cream, put it on my ring finger as I do normally. And I'm sure I have like a tiny bit of tan on my fingers at this point. And I go around my eye again, like I would normally do. And I just, I think, I feel like it just kind of like blends out the tan too. I don't know. This is just what I do. This is not an area of expertise that I have at all. Like I said, I've done this like twice. And then, like four drops of jojoba oil and rub it together all over my face. I feel like this helps to blend it even more. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't want a, like an Oompa Loompa face. Like if I didn't get any tan on my face from this application, I'd rather that than looking like terrible and splotchy. And yeah, I just, I don't care too. I don't care that much about a tan. I'm already a brown girl. <laughs> like it's fine. Anyway, we'll see what happens guys. All right, and then honestly, I don't even really need to show you. I do have myself like ready to show you, but basically with the body, you literally just use as much as you want. Let's just say, okay, I'll just do like my leg, okay? Here's my leg, cheers. I will use the same like jojoba oil that I was using and I'll do like a full dropper. Again, you can't see because focus. 
Focus. Okay, it's not gonna focus. It's fine. But anyway, I use a full dropper of that, and then I'll use a full dropper of the Isle of Paradise tanning. Oh my God. Okay, I can't. I can't. All right, and then I put that all over my leg because my legs can handle in the top of my feet. Just like do the things like where you want the most color. <laughs> That's where you use more drops. I don't know. I feel like this is really self-explanatory. That booty boot area, which I'll do off the camera. Um, but yeah, I mean, you just gotta rub it in. Like, rub it in well. <laughs> I feel like this is like terrible, terrible tutorial. Which, this isn't really a tutorial, guys, okay? I so don't hold me to that standard. I'm just showing you what I do. I don't think I really do any beauty routine kind of thing. I don't think I do any of that like proper, like well. But, you know, I'm just showing you what it is that I do. So obviously the other thing is I'm gonna put on like loose clothing after this. You could do this at night and like sleep in it, but I just wanna do it today and get it over with. And I'm gonna put on loose clothing. I'm gonna finish the rest of my body. Okay, bye. Okay, my makeshift trash bag. We're off to the beach. He's actually gonna go uh, get on a phone call, but that is it, you guys. I'm probably gonna do a couple more things here around the house just to clean from whenever my friends kind of pop by and take care of patchouli. It's nice and clean for them. But other than that, I'm ready to go to the beach. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Like this video if you liked it. Comment down below so we can chat. Find me on my socials. Turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Donate to my Patreon if you can. And until next time, bye guys.